So what's up guys? Um, this is the first time that I've ever posted a vlog. I've actually never done a vlog on my channel before. Um, if you've seen my channel, the majority of the things that I just post are interviews. Um, only I wanted to switch things up a little bit. I'll definitely still be posting interviews. Um, but, um, for those of you who don't know, I do work for um, the G League team of the Houston Rockets, which is the RGB Vipers, and they start training week this week. Um, as a matter of fact, they started yesterday, Sunday, today's Monday, um, and it's being held in a central location in the bubble. So um, unfortunately, um, I couldn't go to the bubble. Uh, they were really strict as far as um, which members of the organization um, were to go. And honestly, the only people who went were uh, the team, obviously, the coaches, and um, our media relations manager, which is my friend Ronnie. So um, thanks to her help, she's going to be able to send me um, a lot of B-roll of training camp. So I'll be able to include in this video. But yeah, stay tuned, guys, um, for the remainder of this vlog so you can kind of see um, how I execute my interviews remotely. Um, and again, so you guys can see a little behind the scenes of what their training camp looks like in the bubble. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm here on set. I say I say set because it's like a mini set. You know what I mean? It's not like an elaborate set, but still. Um, we're about to get ready to do training camp interviews. First we have the ones for the media and then we'll do the ones for Vipers 360. This is our little setup. Um, I say little, but it's actually, honestly this is pretty intense. Obviously I have my laptop here, I have um, a TV that's basically projecting myself. Um, I'll mainly use this like on game days if I have really long game day report, reports and I need it as a teleprompter. And then of course our lights. I have my questions here ready, obviously. Mask, ignore. Who else's mask look like this? Like how disturbing. Um, and then of course the bowl area. We have this wonderful Viper 360 logo. Shout out to Ernie who made it. And of course the court, it looks fabulous. But yeah, we're getting ready to start. Um, we should be starting in the next 15 minutes, so it should be good. Wish me luck. This is the part where I get like super duper excited. It's not like nerves, it's like excitement. Like you know that feeling that you get before you get on a roller coaster where you're like, <gasps> but then afterwards it's like a high, swear, interviewing, I'm doing this feels the exact same way. Um, although it's only day two of camp, uh, what is your evaluation on the team thus far? They need to be in better shape. <laughs> that is literally yeah, that's the all the things i mean if you're in shape then you can kind of get a true eval but you can't until the guys are, are in tip-top shape and they kind of go from there but that's that's the number one thing what would a successful training camp look like to you they get in shape and everybody's healthy <laughs> get started Armani as someone who is known well for shooting and for knocking down shots how have you been able to actually build out that range and is it something that has always come naturally to you um I think honestly I have no idea where my range comes from um I just work on my jump shooting a lot and um I guess maybe the fact that I work on it so much, um, I, my confidence goes through the roof when it comes to stepping out the deeper ranges. And of course, this is, um, if I'm not mistaken, the first time that you've been in a bubble setting. Is that correct? So yeah. what, what is one thing that's going to be uh, perhaps the thing that you miss the most throughout uh, the duration of the bubble? Um, probably just playing in front of my friends and family, you know, not being able to have people uh, that you know personally be able to come to the games. Um, 
and just really the fans in general. You know, um, fans give you so much energy, whether home or away. And um, so it's just going to be weird to go into an arena with no fans. It's probably going to be a weird feeling, but we all got to adjust to it. Would you say that that is going to be challenging in a sense, not having the arena, uh, fans in the arena since they provide a sense of uh, energy? I feel like it could be a challenge, but at a good, at the same time, it could be a good thing. Cause um, you know, on the road, when you're in a tough game, the crowd does play a factor in it. So maybe if it's a close game and there ain't no crowd, you kind of like, all right, well, it's just us versus them. And we ain't got no one, we ain't got no other outside circumstances messing with us. And what is something that uh, you're trying to gain by the end of this entire bubble experience on both a professional level and a personal level? Um, personal level, probably adjusting to being away from family for so long, you know, just in case, you know, I ever have to go overseas and play basketball because you'll be away from everybody then. And then on a basketball level, just learning, you know, just gaining knowledge, you know, every team you come to, every situation is something new. So um, I'm just trying to learn as much as possible so that I can be the best basketball player I can be. Wonderful. Well, I'm excited to watch you and good luck in the rest of camp. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. So nice to meet you, Josh. My name is April. Um, I have a, a couple of questions for you. Uh, you're a mm. player who's had the opportunity to gain experience at every level, um, from playing in the summer league, playing overseas, and last year in the NBA bubble. Um, what is it that we can expect then um, in your game, and how do you believe it's going to evolve? Um, so I've been known to bring a lot of energy when I play um, on both sides of the ball. I tend to just make the play that we need to start a break or just have take the momentum for the game. So that's something that I've been doing for a long time in my career, um, since middle school, honestly. Um, but that's just something that everybody's been telling me that I do consistently and uh, just want to evolve and, and take it to another level and continue to, to play at a high level. I know we have a, a lot of good people on our team and everybody has a unique skill set. And we're just going to try to implement it in the best way that we can. But uh, I'm going to try to be as consistent as I can on defense and on offense and just just make the most of this opportunity that we have to play. And having played alongside uh, to whom many refer to as the future of the NBA and Luka Doncic. Were there mm -hmm. any um, words of advice or pointers that he perhaps uh, gave to you during your time with the Mavs? Yeah, I mean, I got close to everybody on the Mavs team. Um, just, just talking with them, just being around them, working out, playing one-on-one, -on -one, um, or you're here in the bubble, uh, as much as I could, just to, to sharpen our games and just stay in shape uh, when our names were called. Uh, just talking to just a lot of the team, um, not just specifically him, but just everybody. Just take your time and just everybody's path is different. Um, no matter, I know a lot of people on the team didn't go straight into the NBA. I know Dwight Powell, he, he worked a long time in the, in the G League and now he's playing a lot more. Um, he's carved out a significant role, but everybody just consistently just says, just take your time and just make the most of the opportunity you get. Uh, it, it, I didn't. I didn't really play much last year, but uh, I was fortunate enough to to get some time here and there, and I, I played as hard as I could in, in, in that time. So that's the biggest thing. And that's great. And somebody who has um, a lot of experience, the way you do, how will you do your part in helping to build um, a strong team chemistry while they're in the bubble? Um. So I mean, a lot of the guys uh, we we played against each other last year. Um, we I know we have some rookies and stuff, but. I feel like we already have good chemistry when it comes to, to playing. Um, great group of guys. We all get along. We all understand that we're here for a reason and we're trying to win the championship. And at the end of the day, if we all win. Uh, if at the end of the day, after the season and everything, everybody's going to have more of an opportunity because we won the, the G League championship. So uh, I'm going to do the best that I can. Uh, I know we have some young guys, a lot of people in the same year, but we're going to continue to just lead and just spread our advice. Uh, I know the, the system pretty well. You know, I kind of ran it last year. So it's, it's definitely a, a big bonus for me, uh, but I can help out in any way I can and I will. Uh, that's usually what I do. Awesome. Well, I look forward to watching you play. Thank you so much, Josh. All right, thank you. So my name is April. Uh, so I have a couple of questions for you. Uh, you've built a reputation known for your athleticism and playing excellent defense. How do you intend to continue to master that skill? 
Um, you know, I feel like it all just has to do with, you know, your intensity, just playing hard. It's not really much to it. I feel like if you're just playing hard, you're most likely going to be in the right spots at the right time. And, you know, my athleticism was God given and, you know, it just, it's never failed me. So I just depend on those two things. Um, with someone of your stature also comes the opportunity of becoming an excellent rebounder and passer. Is that something that you're looking to showcase a little more in your game? Um, yeah, you know, I feel like I wasn't, I feel like I wasn't rebounding to the best of my ability in the past, you know, and um, I feel like my passing, I feel like at times last year, I showed that I was like a, a very good passer, especially for my position. But I feel like, you know, the game has changed and I feel like, you know, now you got to show that you can do multiple things. And I definitely would like to show my passing ability. I feel like I believe that I'm a great passer. And I feel like, you know, just going out there, putting up the stats will do me justice. And what are you looking forward to the most during this entire experience? Um, honestly, I just feel like, you know, I'm not really looking forward to nothing right now. I feel like, you know, I'm already here. I feel like the thing that I was looking forward to was just the journey, you know? I feel like the reward is the journey and just grinding it out here. I feel like, you know, just being here in its own is just a blessing. So I'm just, you know, just trying to get, I mean, trying to make the best of my opportunity. <clears throat> Well, I wish you the very best of luck and um, hopefully I get to continue to talk to you uh, throughout the duration of the bubble. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Trey. Nice to meet you. I'm April Marie. How are you doing? Okay. So Trey, you actually joined this team as a local tryout. What do you feel like that says about your character and persistence? Um, just like I'm willing to um, work for anything, you know, not having it given to me. You know, you got to push through and just make the best out of the situation. And given the opportunity to play in such a historic setting for the NBA G League, what are you prepared to then showcase? Just my talent just the things I can um, do on the basketball court as well as a teammate and um, the person that I am. And what are your thoughts overall on the experience thus far? I know training camp just started and you haven't been there for very long, but, but what do you think of it? I mean, it's a cool experience just, you know, being around pros and um, just seeing how different the college game is from the pros. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Trey. I'm here with Josh Hustis. Nice to meet you, Josh. Um, I have a couple of questions for you. As someone who has had the opportunity to play at the next level in the NBA, how do you feel like your experience in the league will then sort of play out on the task ahead? Um, I mean, being able to play, you know, at the highest level in the NBA, obviously I've been able to see quite a few things and play against really talented players. So, you know, being able to bring that wisdom and experience. Um, you know, we've got a really young team, being able to pass on any knowledge that I have and just help us win as many games as possible. It's exciting. And in your opinion, what is it about your defense that makes it so versatile? I, I mean, just looking at our roster and, you know, really getting a feel for the guys here, like we've got a lot of really athletic players, long arms, um, super versatile, like you said. So, I mean, I think that causes a lot of problems for offenses just because we can make a lot of switches and, you know, we've got multiple guys that can guard a lot of different positions. And what do you think is going to be the most difficult aspect of the entire bubble experience? Um, I think it's just going to be the first couple of games. Obviously, you know, we're a bunch of guys who were brought together you know, just a couple of weeks before the first games even started. So we're still getting a feel for one another and figuring out how we all mesh together. So I think there's going to be some some growing pains in that aspect. But I mean, we got a lot of great guys, so I don't think it'll take too long. Do you feel like within those growing pains will bring upon the opportunity to build kind of that team dynamic? Of course. Yeah, I think this is a unique environment. Obviously, you know, we're kind of we're quarantined here with each other in this bubble and we spend a lot of time with one another. So I think it's going to build a really good team dynamic and 
you know, it's going to force us to come together even more. And I think that'll be to our benefit. I'm so excited to watch. Well, it's nice to meet you, Josh. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Hi, Broderick. I'm April. I have a couple of questions for you. Broderick, as a Division II former student athlete who is now on a two-way contract with the Houston Rockets, what do you have to say to those student athletes who are under the notion that being recruited by a Division I program is the end-all, be-all? Sure. I think, um, obviously, as years continue, I think it's starting to become a little bit more noticed that it's a lot. It has to do with more of what the fit is rather than the name of the school, and I think uh, – I'm an example of that, and I, I hope that that's an example for young guys coming out of high school that it's not just about the name, and it's about where the perfect fit is for you and understanding where you're going to succeed the most in. And as a player who is known to having a certain level of confidence on both ends of the floor, what are you hoping to, or how are you hoping to specifically make an impact on the defensive end? For sure. I mean, just being as active as possible, whether that's uh, getting deflections, getting steals and um, protecting the rim as much as I can and just making sure that, um, you know, we can get out in transition by getting good defensive stops. And that starts with, you know, small details like having hands up and things of that nature. So just trying to be disruptive on the defensive end is probably the biggest way to make an impact. And what are you looking to or what are you looking forward to the most by the end of this training camp? Um, for sure, just so uh, for us to come together as a unit and be able to understand how everyone plays because everyone's coming into this bubble, um, trying to figure out how everyone plays and, and how everybody's going to work together. So I think the biggest thing is um, finding that gel and finding how we play best uh, so we can succeed and, and hopefully get this championship. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rodriguez. Nice to meet you, and I look forward to watching you play. Thank you. Appreciate it.